hello and welcome to the Livy Lab. And you'll notice, uh, you may have noticed in my last video on the EagleMoss 3D printer, uh, I think it was issue 65, uh, we had to connect it to the computer and it failed. It wouldn't connect, the computer wouldn't see it, and there was a red light flashing on the motherboard. Well, since then, uh, we've worked out how to fix it, thanks to a gentleman on Twitter whose name I'll put below. Uh, Yes, it's quite a simple thing to fix, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, the red light on the motherboard flashing is, has got nothing to do with the error. We believe that's because there's no head and stuff fitted. It's just indicating that. So first thing to do before we do anything else, power it on to let it warm up. Here the computer's uh, heard it there. There we go. And uh, what we'll do next, well, I've got a steady green light there, I can't don't know if you can see that on camera. Uh, what we'll do next is go to the software and show you how to do it. Right, welcome to my desktop. And to do this, what we need to do is go over to the software that you've installed, make sure your printer's on, and then hold down Shift and Control on your keyboard, right click on the software, and then, I've really seen those keys, choose Run as Administrator. That's the bit that's stopping people from getting through. So after a few moments, because my computer is slow. <coughs> right. Here we have the software. If you go into configuration, printer settings, choose your port. It may come up with several options here. If it doesn't work the first time, choose the next one. Uh, if you can't see any ports, refresh ports, and it should come up. Then press OK. After that, go back to configuration, manual printer control, connect. It may uh, ask you uh, because you need to configure your system on the first run. If it does that, just click yes, and then you get a box that comes up. Click connect and see if it will connect. On this one, you can see it's gone from disconnected to idle. And a few moments later, the commands will start. Uh, there you go. If you've gone through the bit where it does configuration, once it's got to that window, don't do the configuration. Close that, then go back to manual printer control and press the connect there. And you can see there are controls here. It won't do anything at the moment. I believe it's because the uh, we've got the flashing light because the head's not fitted or something. It, that's the printer showing an error. I believe uh, that hasn't been confirmed. Uh, but there you go. That's what we need to do in issue 65. Get it connected, and then you can disconnect. You can disconnect. Okay, don't matter. Anyway, close, and there you go. That's how you connect to the printer. I hope that's been of use. If you're not already, please subscribe for more videos like this and other computing related and gaming stuff. And our social media is down below with our popular Facebook group. So, thank you all very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>